Good morning, Turtle Club. I hope everybody's having a good Saturday. We are having a great Saturday. It is Shipwrecked on a Saturday, brought to you by one of our actual sponsors here, Sally. And once again, Sally, thank you for this copy of the game. Uh, we're having a fun time playing it. It is... Let's see, we, we took the ghost back to the great Hensel. And we had just beaten the Water Temple in all its awesomeness. So now we're, who knows what we're about to be doing. But this is Legend of Zelda, Link's Awakening. One of the Game Boy classics, rematched on Nintendo Switch. And I'm willing to bet that now that we have the Zora Flippers, what we gotta do, and this is the way these games work, right? is we have to now swim through all the Zora flipper infested waters and hope for the best. There are some places where, you know, Martha's Bay's got us some stuff, down through here's got us some stuff. And so we'll have to kind of figure out how we approach this, but we're making a pretty good steady clip of the game. I mean, it's, you know, on Game Boy, it was one of those things that would take us a little bit of time and a couple of trips in the car to to be. Because Game Boy time back when I was young, really young, was in the car. I didn't own my own Game Boy. Uh, actually, my brother and sister and I uh, played ski ball one summer and managed to acquire enough tickets, along with my father, to get a Game Boy. And so Game Boy was one of those things that we weren't permitted to have in the house. It was a car item. It was meant for long trips. And it was one of those things that my father did to try to help, um, in his mind, prevent us from spending all of our time playing video games. And, you know, for the most part it worked. For the most part it worked. Uh, you know, having it hidden somewhere where we didn't know where it was definitely worked. So it was probably four, maybe five um, vacation style car trips before I beat the, first, the game the first time. Uh, I think this is the new Dampy Shack, right? Yeah, okay. And that's something all in a other kit and caboodle. That wasn't part of the original. Uh, Dampy wasn't part of the original by any stretch of the imagination. Oh, hello. Wow. Um, that would have been helpful for us to know about uh, a while back. Okay, so now we can use that to just teleport here. Because, yeah, that's where we get access to all the water. Oh, we need to go over here to get this piece of heart, though. Um, hold up. Let's, I wish we could zoom in and take a look. Complaining about the really easy game in this game is going really, really bad compared to the Game Boy game. Uh, maybe one of these days I'll dust off my Game Boy copy and we can stream the Game Boy version of this as well. Just so people can see how different they are. I think I went the wrong direction. I think I went the wrong direction. I gotta say, there are so many quality of life improvements in this game, though. Um, it's, it's incredible how many quality of life improvements they've matched into this game. I can't remember if there's anything down in one of these caves. Or not. Oh, there's a fairy. Take the fairy. That's the other thing about these particular games. Um, just got that fairy and totally wasted it. Uh, that's not too bad. Not too far away, though. Is there's a lot of backtracking involved. Lots of backtracking. Alright, don't think this is going to be water and heat this at all. There is water, but it's not it's not deep enough for us to worry about. Okay. Hey T Mac, how's it going, buddy? 
Oh, that was just really bad timing. I could have done that better. Alright. Let's see here. Turtle Club, if you don't know who T-Mac Music is, T-Mac Music is a musician and a streamer on Twitch. Does some really cool chill music. If you like the chill atmosphere that we have here while we're streaming and playing games, definitely check them out. I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. You know, um, the world is definitely interesting right now. And interesting times are one of those ways that I, I have I have lots of enjoyment. Oh, there's a seashell there. Okay. Oh, T-Mac, I always try to make sure I shout out the buddies that I got. And, wow. So that's, that's the difference between submerging and surfacing. Is that interesting? I gotta say, it's it's been it's been an interesting week for the United States and for those of us that are in the United States. There are things that are are whoops, no no no. There are things that are going to change this country, and no matter who wins our election, the country will change. That's the one thing that people don't really think about is. The, the country will change, um, and it's a question of how you think it's going to change. And from a historic standpoint, if a president wins a second term, then that president is free from the worry of having to be reelected, having to make decisions with the future thinking. Thoughts of well, in four years, I gotta make sure that the general populace still wants to be in office. So, if President Trump does win the election, then that's something that he will be able to do. Is he will be able to make decisions without the concern of his next term. If Joe Biden wins the election, that will be something that he'll have to consider. So the changes that he can bring to this country are going to be totally based upon that, right? And subsequently, changes that Trump can bring to this country will be free from that actual thought process. So it will be really interesting, no matter who wins this election, Turtle Club, to see, ultimately, uh, what comes of it. And ultimately, uh, come on, come on, little Toronto fish. Let's get our music ready. I knew we had one we got with the flippers, but I just remember which one it was apparently. But regardless of who wins, we will see a shift. That's about all the politics we have time for today. We, we try not to be political on this channel. And I, I, I feel like the discussion I just had there is, is as neutral as one can hope for. Small. Right. Um, 
I'm trying to remember if this is where we have to start doing silly arrow puzzles, but I don't think so. Okay. Labels are for mugs, not for humans. Um, you know, I, I labels are definitely something that we have to be careful with, right? If we label somebody something, uh, we we do a number of things. Oh, that's far too far. That's a hook shot section. I hope we get the hook shot. This area. I, I think that labeling something um, is shows a lot of judgment on something, right? Um, and it's too easy to believe the label and not to make our own decisions. Now, I, I do think that in some cases a, a simple label on somebody also doesn't encompass everything and can also cause its own problems. I think that's the I think that's the bigger takeaway, honestly, is labeling something unfortunately um, can blind you to other things. CD on Zelda, right? <laughs> Look at the size of this dungeon, people! Oh my goodness! Was a child when we came into the room? No. What is this room for? Some of our precious, precious bombs. Alright. Um, use some old Wind Waker tactics, right? I don't think this is the right spot. They've blown a wall out, but. Maybe it's a... No, it can't be a map of the dungeon itself. Alright, well... We'll just do that then. Oh, 
we'll have to backtrack. That's the other thing about this game that we've talked about a couple times, is this is completely Zelda the backtracking. Okay, so you can actually, we can run on the angles, and we can actually charge on the angles. Interesting. Well, this direction will lead us to a chest. Ooh. Ooh. So, we get bombs, it's usually a sign that the dungeon's going to have bombs. And be important. Oh, we got a beak. Alright, now he's going to find an owl statue. We haven't seen one yet, right? There we go. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. We got hooks. We got hookshot stuff. We got all sorts of things. on this, but I bet you... Oh, man. Ugh. Okay. It's gotta be one of these, possibly. Okay, we can't move that. We can't do that, so... Shot's gonna be so important for us in this dungeon because we have to be able to contest these without taking all the damage. Okay, well, let's take a look at something real quick. We have four instruments, and this is level five, which means we just gotta go down here and then go the other direction. Alright. GG game. GG. That's a big clue coming up, isn't it? Well, that was pure luck. Zelda enemies kind of come down to the same formula overall. If they have armor, you have to try to find a way to break that armor. Ah, I'm out here. 
So that's the first encounter. That's what the the four dots was for for the fourth encounter with him. Oh. Oh. Rude. That's such a rude dude with the two. But I'm gonna pop all these. I was gonna say pay attention to the four patterns. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I remember this. I remember this. Oh, awesome. Zelda the backtracking. Super Mario vibes. Oh yeah. Do do do. Do you? smart every time that we know that there is a room that needs the hook shot we need to be hook shot and stuff we need to be hook shot and stuff um, we've been in that room so we know that we need to hook shot that one and we need to hook shot that one that way we know what we're getting ourselves into and we don't know why we didn't get in that room okay encounter three which we still have not yet done we have a map map actually you know map is kind of super helpful let us know where we need to go I'm betting because of the way the levels all built out is this is where we have to go because we got to fight the dude No choice but to get that guardian aid point. Alright. I don't know. Wait, can that be 
pushed. No. Nope. Three sucker bombs, I guess. Interesting. Ah. Let's go down here. Push this over here. This has got to be room number two. Yep, room number two. Yes, I'm a real pesky kid. Blow up the bomb. back my shiny things you madman get another heart refill in this next one. Right? That's what's in this room is 10 hearts. Or 3 hearts. Yeah. I was hoping to get lucky with the the recycled room, but oh well. Let's, let's look. Is this just faster? Not only is it faster, but it's kind of the way we need to go anyways, so... Let's let that block. What's this one right here? Oh, I gotta be Henri. I haven't been Henri for a little bit. Alright, come on. Come on. There. Dance in the void for all eternity. Wow, those things take a hit and don't quit. Time to lose part of it again. That's fine. That's fine. We're good. Wait, did we ever go in that hole? I don't think we did. Did we? I, I think we didn't go down the very easy to get to hole. No, we didn't. Alright. Hello, cheap cheeps. Sounds like a whole lot of woe, if I ever heard it. <laughs> Do 
Did we just get stuck because we don't have the hook shot? We might have just soft locked ourselves. That's gonna be so super disappointing. Oh no, we're good, we're good. Interesting. And... Making our way. We're making our way to the cell boss. Cause we got our hook shot we want. This is not even fair, right? As we move a little faster, we do a little more damage. Give me my hook shot. Oh, that was rather violent. <laughs> It's a long chain that stretches when they use it. No, it is the best weapon in this whole game. It is the best weapon in this whole game. They're not even they're not even being fair about how good this thing is. Look at that. Look at that. It stuns. Look at the range on this thing. It's like infinite arrows. Granted, they don't travel as fast as arrows, but they're pretty good. Oops, wrong way. Excuse me. Stand still. Stand still. Stand still. Ah, oh, so beautiful. Does it do damage? But what it does do is allows you to get more damage. Mm. I feel like I am finally back to playing this game the way I used to play it. There's all the rupees. All right, so we gotta go to this room next. There. Oh! What do you know? That's still Thank you. On oh, this room. Bam. Being able to hook shot on the diagonal is very unfair. That's that's something that I'm gonna have to get used to. I still want to go to this room to get my stuffs. Excuse me, while well, I can completely invalidate this whole entire room. Yeah, that ruby's gonna have to stay far, far away down there. Oh, there's a Sakini. Yeah. 
I don't think there'll be anything in these. Pardon me while I'll take the express across. Now, the neat thing that happens here... Oh, we got a key now? Um... Oops. Can't do that. But what you can do is this. I was not pointing the way I needed to point. Ah. The running arrows is going to be bad. Alright, this guy's going to go down. Oh. No. Alright, come on. Come on. So got all of this loot to get. So we should go get it. <laughs> right? I think that's exactly what that says. Um Hey oh Dylan, how's it going, bud? I'm doing pretty good. I, you know, life could always be better. Uh, you know, anyone who tells you that it couldn't be better is uh, suffering from some kind of euphoria. But, you know, life could also, also always be worse. I try to keep that on the balance. Uh, I'm doing great. I'm doing on the balance. Just got my favorite weapon in this whole entire game, the hook shot. And it is just as amazing as I remembered it. right now and let's see we have that 
That's the room that connects. That's the room that connects. So we need to go and get that thing. I made that thing dance in the abyss for eternity, so it, 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 it got the importance. Yeah. It's time for Mario underwater time again. And I really don't know why this Goomba's here. It just... Poor Goomba. Really, really just... There's the big old boss key. It'll open us into the lair of the nightmare. So we have the nightmare door, the room with the the instrument. It looks like um, we just got to figure out how to get into this room where it all happens, right? Uh, it's this door right here. This is kind of cool, though. If you think about this from like a technological standpoint. From a oops, from a level design standpoint, right? This is this is a neat way to make a a staircase for a treasure item. It didn't have to do that. It was just a nice little, and it really doesn't add a whole lot, you know, from a a a points perspective, right? If you think that the game's got like a score to it or something, it doesn't really do that. But what it does do is adds just enough to have kind of like a conversation about it, you know? Like, isn't that neat? Isn't that cool? And it's a nice kind of, uh... Did I did I talk to this guy? Oh yeah, oh, the, the torch beam crosses water stuff. Yeah, dive under where the torchlight beams do cross. Yeah, that that was your hint to go back and find the, the thing there. Where does this end? This leads somewhere. for us to do there. No, it's not. Okay. That's just our way out. Boom. Look at that. Isn't that neat? And... Well, that was me clutching the graphics a bit. Uh, three. Alright. Here we go. It's time to fight the boss! What's going on, boss? I shall eat you, he says. This is not good. Alright. Slime eel. So, if I remember right, in truth, Zelda fashion. I use the weapon to beat the thing. Ah. Maybe not. Oh, that's right. We have to. We have to hook shot him. Yeah. So what we're 
doing here now is just jumping over the tail into the hole. Because that's the way we do things. Ah, come on, we gotta get better at this. Oh, we we have a pro okay, we got the cream. We got the cream, we got secret medicine, so we're we're in the grand scheme of things we're doing really bad, but we're not doing horrible. seem to know what kind of island this is. What a fool. I don't remember asking what the island was, right? Boom. It's a xylophone. The wind marimba. Island secret in the shrine. But what shrine? And of course, the owl's like, nope, we have no desire to be near the water. We are a bird. We do not swim. on this Pearl Mermaid skill. But that's good. That's fine. We're still going to help around as best as we can. Fish hook, huh? That is part of the. That's part of the. That's uh, part of the boomerang quest, right? Part of the traits the boomerang. Like.
the old lady in this house, I think. Style the hint line. The face shrine. North of Animal Village. Okay. So not the shrine I was thinking, man. I have to test this. Look. What kind of sorcery is this? See, I can hit. I can hit chain chomps with it. Okay. This one, there was an old lady sweeping out here. Well, let's take a look at the crane game. I haven't checked it for a little bit. There's a seashell. Okay, well we're we're playing the we're playing the crane game at least for one. Grab? Grab? Yeah. Yeah. Stay in there. Don't fall out. But I said don't fall out. this. Grab, grab. There we go. <laughs> yeah, we're going to challenge again. We're hoping... Hoping this bomb increases our capacity, but I don't know if that's something this game does or not. Oh, we so botched the timing on that. Oh, that's gross. This guy for a bit. I think we got a seashell. We paid a lot of money for it. But we still don't have. Oh, 
Until I'm getting closer and closer to, to Sleepy Time Mag, it, uh. Oh, my name. That's the item shop. That's the Sleep Shrine. I'm imagining it, but I swear there's an old lady always over here, sweeping, right in front of here, with her broom, talking about her husband. teleport unless there's something up here I missed. Okay. Uh, I think of anybody else that might need the room. I mean the witch lady might need a room, right? That's that's kind of like That's the face shrine, right? Or it's that. Ugh. It said north, so we're gonna travel north. Oh! There's an old grandma. What are you doing over here? Oh, that's a fishing hook already. Um, this direction. All right. What you gonna catch me, man? It's a big one. Okay, it became a necklace. Um Oh that's right, she lost her necklace, right? Right? Am I doing that right? Maybe not. Super convenient and easy for these to all be kind of close by each other. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Alright. And she swims off.
there. Right there. Oh, well, that's silly easy to get to. It's amazing how the brain picks up on things that, like at the beginning and the end, and not so much in the middle. Wait. What? see these before because we didn't have the magnifying somehow we managed to just avoid all this ha huh. the subconscious works out the rest I, I i i dig it t-mac i dig it like okay now i just gotta remember what we do with this thing um why you can read the no issue. Um... have this thing that lets us see invisible stuff now is I hate to forsake it but we just go all the way to the very very beginning of the game and check for secrets. That's that's what I figure we do, right? Oh, well, yes. That, that's one of the amazing things about the brain, right? Oh, we can go through all this now. Okay, we're going to go through all that. <laughs> and see what we can get from there. We probably get, like, a piece of heart or something. But it's better than, like, absolutely nothing. Yeah. Ah, stop, 
stuff that doesn't love me. Bad people. Good morning, Eric Peterson. How are you today, sir? We were talking about you a while ago. We, we managed to uh, get to that point that you have on your Animal Crossing village in this wonderful game. With that awesome scene that you put on your, on your little hidden beach. Alright, so we've got to read all these signs. There's so many signs. Start here, go this way. Go this way. Go this way. Go this way. Glad to hear it, man. Glad to hear it. Go this way. Try again from the start. No! What happened? Alright. I know what happened. We didn't go this way. to go this way we, we went too short That's a, that is some reward, let me tell you. It's gotta be, right? <laughs> um, well, yes, we'll pay. Sock of soul. It can even liven up unliving things. Mm. Uh, your dad, he's literally just singing for us. I know, right? Isn't that amazing? Ah, oh, don't fall in the hole. Alright. So we have filled in this area. We've gotten the Song of Soul. I'm pretty certain that's the only song in this game other than Marin's. I could be wrong, though. Oh, yeah. The game is amazing. I mean, it, it clearly is. It's... Uh, my, my complaint with it still is that it's a short game. Um, but you know, for people that have never experienced it, especially seeing it with this art style, it's definitely something I could see recommending to people. 
Um, okay, we are on our way to the beginning because we have this thing that shows us hidden stuff now. There's a song up by the waterfall. Okay. Now that you say that, Eric, I, I sort of remember that. I'm just hoping I'm remembering the boomerang location, right? Back to the stream. Oh yeah, Eric's a long time person, man. He had some hints that if I say something he knows correctly, go correctly. But yeah, no worries, too man. Not seeing anything different. Wait, this guy wasn't here before. This guy wasn't here before. Yeah, Eric Peterson, man, we couldn't have beaten half the Zelda games without him, dude. I uh, found a good item to wash up on the shore. I'll trade it for you if you have any extra white button. Alright, okay. Uh, Alright, so... I don't really want to trade the bow. I don't really want to trade my bombs. Definitely not the rock feather. Um, A. Oh. Okay. Um, I guess the... Is there anything that I would lose out on the shovel? Can I buy a new shovel? Gotta remember. Oh my gosh. This is the guy that gives me the boomerang. This is the moblin that gives me the boomerang. Oh my gosh. How about I give you some chamber stones or this toadstool? I don't want to give up my shovel. But I feel like that's the only option I really have. Yeah, I remember the, the bomb arrows, because those are fun. Bet. Bet, um, this part here. You can ship buy the shovel back from him, actually. All right, cool. Yeah, uh, don't need it yet. Okay. That's what I was, I was forgetting, man. I was... Yeah. Do my stuffs. Uh, 
that's the, that's the Zelda content we all want. And now you can do fun stuff like this. at all the monkey all right cool oh boomerang is so overpowered in this game oh it's it's why I, every time I, I mean look at that it it slices it dices it brings stuff back to you oh my gosh We are okay about being OP, though. Alright, so the waterfall has a song, so let's go and try to figure out what the song of the waterfall is. It's, it's probably one that we needed either the flippers or the hook shot for. If I had to guess. What's this thing? Playing this just yet will do anything. Nope. All right, that's, that's okay. so happy to have the ring back. Like, I now have the ring and the hookshot, and that is by far the most overpowered things you can do in this game. Like, ridiculously so. the wooden thunk noise it makes. Let's hit some solid stuff. It didn't have to do that, but it's a nice addition. Getting 
slightly concerned. <laughs> Yeah, between the hookshot, the boomerang, and the Pegasus boots, there's just so much just invincibleness that you have at this point. Up and down. That there, move that there, that there. Which doesn't do us any good still. Uh, okay. Reset. So. thought that one by far. one time for work after work to no sleep past the alarm I uh yeah I, I get that <laughs> I get that a lot we're going to find out what's in this treasure chest and I think it's only after we kill all of them that we get anything good out of them Backtracking, guys. <laughs> the Legend of Zelda links backtracking. Wait, seriously? Can we like shield charge? I wasn't aware of that. Oh. Oh, that's amazing. That was not what we hoped to find there, but hey, we'll take it. Super awesome overpowered weapon, shall we? Okay, well we're we're way off the beaten path. Um, we will 
Hopefully find a teleporter. Spots where we need a shovel still for seashells and stuff. Yeah, we're gonna have to buy one. We didn't mean to hit the acorn, but this sort of happened. And off the edge you go, buddy. Happy to have you here, man. It, it felt really weird having that scene with the Marin and Link and you not being here. I was like, man. But you know, life, as we say often, is what happens when we make other plans. So we, we figured something was going on. Think about the fact that the boomerang is super overpowered in this game, right? Um, especially when you think about the the fact that this game has exploding arrows. Pretty, pretty good too, but it's definitely not kill things and take their stuff away from them as you do it. OP. Yeah, we made it all the way here. We don't have the key. Alright, that though. Yeah, I think that's where we wanted to drop. Sweet. Tall, tall heights. We were so excited after we beat the fish that we didn't bother coming over this way. Guys, it's time for another serenade. <laughs> Gotta love that song. Mon Buzzwombo. You get out of the water, play it. I'll let you warp to Mombo's Pond too. Cha cha cha. Now, Turtle Club, we get to travel in style. So, Dampy Shack, Mambo's Pond. Bam. Check that out. Who we get to walk to? A 
so special about this place? Well, this is the spa. And we didn't need the medicine, so we're good. Alright. Um... We got the boomerang, we got the ability to just zip everywhere around the map. Uh, we just completed a, a dungeon, which got us a hook shot. I, uh... We need to go to the Faceless Shrine. Which is among all that mess right there. I think that's it right there. So... Let's do this. Let's, let's try to remember how we got there. How did we get there? Did we get there? Now, I think we got to this little thing and then we got cut off. That's what happened, right? I am. Um, yeah, okay. So, to the animal place, through all this, going all there. I mean, at some point, we can go there and see what we can do from there, but I don't I don't think that gets us down in here. I think that gets us down in there. So, I feel like we go... Yeah, we definitely gotta do that. Alright. Boom, 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 boom. How could I have forgotten about the Mambo? Oh my gosh. I, th I think how I forgot about the Mambo is simply because the... The game is just so user-friendly compared to what it was on Game Boy. I just never thought I needed the Mambo. So my brain never said, hey, by the way, Mag, go find your teleport spell. Somewhere it turns out we were nowhere. Okay. So it's not the way there. Ouch. Got there. Is that it?
that's it. Maybe this, maybe this leads us up and through. Yeah, we'll just we'll keep on the hook shot for now. It is somewhere where we needed to go. For reasons. <laughs> Got another piece of heart, yeah. Score soundtrack for this is still amazing. Speaking of overpowered things. Hello. We are taking you on a trip. And we're taking you to keep your friend company. Dungeon number six of eight, question mark? Um, we got like 20 minutes. We could possibly do something in this dungeon in a amount of time. 
I feel confident about that for the most part. are always in the way. It's too heavy. We can't lift it. The most overpowered thing the overpowered thing the boomerang does of course. I got a funny, funny feeling that we chose poorly on the Picador. Meanwhile, this level is basically playing out like an old school Mario Switch Palace. Which is kind of a neat vibe to have for a dungeon, you know? Boomerang is just way too cool. 
it just does everything. I mean, literally and figuratively does everything because it does everything. Alright, give me a second. Turtle Club, we're not going to be able to complete this dungeon during this stream, unfortunately. Just not in the cards right now. It's me, the sneaky bean. Hey, Freddy, how's it going, man? some progress, but not a whole lot. I guess we have to go and do this a little bit on the legitimate side, huh? Trying to cheese a little bit, but alas, there is no cheese. No cheddar, no gouda. Not even a nice Swiss. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. So you're doing a master mode completion then, right? fight this thing it's terrifying but if you stand here you just hit your B button over and over again it's not you can hardly wait for the master mode sword trials uh, I uh you know master mode sword trials I've never done you know the the, the quote unquote trial I did 
What? Oh no. I think this thing's too heavy for me to pick up, isn't it? Pretty sure this thing's way too heavy for me to pick up at this point. So I think we keep going into the wrong, 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 wrong. In Dungeon 4, step on you. Yes, absolutely. In Dungeon 4, step on you, Shadow. It, it is. Okay. It's gotta be this mess, maybe? I don't know. I don't think we actually... I don't think we've been anywhere in all this. We haven't done anything involving that. We have to be able to pick up the statue there. We have to be able to pick up the statue there. That guy's got to be beatable. switch that'll be interesting Fazbear Pizzeria. Interesting. It just loops over and over again. Kind of interesting, but they're not really my cup of tea. I get how people can play them and enjoy them. Absolutely a to each their own kind of situation. We can't, we can't lift that, and this is a one way track to there. So, um, can't lift that. Clearly, we've missed something. Oh, really? On Switch? I know Ark is getting a, uh, on PC, is getting Genesis Season 2 pretty soon. Um, and it's, it's looking like it'll be alright. Um, 
Heart is a great game. I, I don't want anybody to think it's not. Because it is an amazing game. Uh, the problem is, is that when you get to that kind of an awesome game, keeping the awesome factor means something more than just a new map and a couple of dinosaurs. You really got to do some innovation. And unfortunately, Wildcard hasn't done that in about the last uh, two DLCs. Oh, we just never went up here. We keep thinking that we didn't explore any of this, but we just didn't go up here. Or... Enter the space where the eyes have walls. This is all boss stuff. So, currently grinding. Oh, Talus's rubies, yeah. It's, you know, grinding on Talus's and, and similar things. And. and you know, Breath of the Wild is is not a bad way to go about it. So play there. Thank you. It is unfortunately turned about 9 o'clock. We are going to have to puzzle on this next Saturday while we're shipwrecked. We are 5 out of 8 instruments. Only one death. I gotta say I like the fact we got the death counter. I'm right there. But we, we did pretty good. Final boss in the game but never finished it since you could not figure out how to beat it. Um, on Ark? Or this game. For clarification. Awesome stream, dude. Oh, thanks, T Mac. Guys, keep in mind, check out T Mac's music if you want a chill, nice stream just to kind of listen to. He's. Anytime I can catch him, I. I, I do my best to at least pull it up in the background. Oh, on Link's Awakening? Okay. Well, we'll have to figure that out together then. Come in, Breath of the Wild, come in, find out two Lionels, got rid of one before you died. Oh, wow. Well, Freddy. Well, Turtle Club, thank you all for everybody who's came in today. I'm going to have myself a good night. <laughs> 
But T Mac Music, who popped in at the very beginning, and Dylan chilling with us as well. Eric Peterson, always a pleasure to see you, man. Thank you for for coming in. Glad you were able to come in. A shadow, supreme worker of all time. Uh, Freddie Fazbear, you guys, you know, you guys make this a stream. Uh, you didn't see much. Oh, it's it's alright, Freddie. No worries, man. You know, we don't take attendance. We're we're just happy to see old friends. You know, um, we we had uh, an actual viewer uh, named Jay. Uh, Trying to remember his other name, and and we also had um, Rainstorm Z's son um, pop in yesterday. It was it was like being all the way back in 2017 almost. It was amazing. And uh, it's having you guys like you that come into this channel, uh, even when you've been here you know, forever or you haven't been here in a while, that uh, make this just a, a, you know, an amazing experience for us. So we really appreciate that, guys. Uh, so, you know, if, I'm going to have a good night, as I said earlier. But you guys have a good breakfast, good lunch, good dinner. Have a good weekend. Whatever you're about to do, Terror Club, stay safe, wash your hands, and have a good one. Thanks for watching and take care, guys.